Hi, I'm Deepa Anapara and I'll be reading from my novel Gin Patrol on the Purple Line. We believe Jin's moved into this palace around the time our last kings died, their hearts broken by the crooked victories of white men who claim to be our rulers. No one knows where the Jin's came from, if Allah Ta'ala sent them, or if they were summoned here by the feverish utterances of the devote. They've been here for so long, they must have watched the walls of this palace crumble, the pillars soften with moss and creepers, and pythons slither over cracked stones like dreams wavering in the light of dawn. Every year, they must feel the wind trembling the chamba trees in the garden, sharing flowers as fragrant as vials of utter. We can't see jinns unless they take the form of a black dog or a cat or a snake. But we feel their presence the moment we step into these palace grounds. In the rustle that tickles the backs of our necks like the branch of a shrub. In the breeze blowing our shirts and in the lightness we feel in our hearts as we pray. We can see you're frightened. But listen, listen. We have been caretakers of this gin palace for years, and we can assure you they've never harmed anyone. Yes, there are bad jinns and trickster jinns and infinite jinns who want to possess your soul, but the ones who live here, the jinns who read the letters that believers have written to them, they're the good jinns Allah Ta'ala shaped out of smokeless fire to serve us. They're saints. Look now at the crowd thronging these grounds flinging cubes of meat up into the sky for kites to catch, leaving foil balls of milk for dogs on the odd chance that one of the kites or the dogs is a jinn in another form. These believers are from all faiths. It's not just us Muslims. Here there are Hindus and Sikhs and Christians and maybe even Buddhists. They come here clutching the letters they've written to the jinns and they will place their petitions on the powdery walls. At night, when the gates are locked and the ash tips of joysticks collapse to the ground, the jinns will read the letters scented with incense and flowers. They read fast, not like us. If they find your wish genuine, they will grant your request. As caretakers of the jinns' home, we've seen that happen many times, but don't take our word for it. Over there by the champa tree, you will notice a grey-haired man barking orders at four boys carrying cauldrons of biryani. For years his daughter had a constant cough that no medicine could cure. He took her to government hospitals, to private hospitals that looked like five-star hotels, to a godwoman who lived in a hut by the Arabian Sea, and to a Baba's ashram high up in the Himalayas. She was x-rayed and CT scanned and MRI'd. She wore rings with blue gems and green gems and purple gems for good health. Nothing helped. Then someone told them about this place and the father came here with a letter for the Jin saints. He would have done anything for his daughter by then, pulled out all his teeth and tied them up in a satin cloth like pearls if that was what the Jins wanted. His letter to the Jins was brief. Some people write pages listing their grievances and they attach copies of birth certificates and marriage certificates and sale deeds of houses that are being divided unequally and disagreeably between brothers and sisters and uncles and aunts. The father, however, just wrote, please take pity on us and cure my daughter of a cough. He showed the letter to us, that's how we know. He pinned a photo of his daughter from before to the letter, before the cough made a rattling skeleton out of her. And now, see for yourself. The daughter is a girl in the green silver kameez standing by the champa. Her hair is covered fully with a scarf so as not to tempt the jinns. Even the good jinns have a weakness for beautiful girls, we will be honest with you. But doesn't she look well? There's colour in her cheeks, strength in her bones, not a bend in her spine and a cough is gone. She's getting married next month. The father is thanking the gins by feeding biryani to visitors. Thank you.